Oh gosh, right, am I ready? Oh, you're recording. Okay. Right, if we, look, if we go back down to the very beginning of our model, so I pull the slider back to here, you can see that I've created a model. Right? And it might look something like this. So with the ruler, you draw that shape, whatever shape it is there. I've got a curvature like that, and you can see how it develops. I've just drawn this in front of the students. Can you see that? Okay, so I draw that. I then move the slider across the next stage, and I extrude it. And the way I do that, I go create extrusion, and that will then extrude that shape. Got it? Excellent. Right, I then move on to the next stage. Sorry? Yeah, I think I did I revolve it. Yes, I did. So, if you look at this now, I've then, if I go back to here, you can see what I've done next. I've then cut out that part of the body. Let me just show you. I then sliced this part off. Okay? So, if I go back to that, you can see there's the area I cut off. Okay? So, you just remove that profile. Job done. Right. And then it then looks like the next thing I've done. I've selected the centre work plane, right? And I've pulled. You can use the push pull button, right? Which is create. You go extrude, or even here, if you just select that, then it gives you the option of push pull, okay? Which is modify. I think it's up here. Press pull. Cut it. You've got that option. I'm not going to do that now because this is on a live window. So once I've done that then, I use the fillet. Right? The fillet button is up here. Modify, fillet, you select the edge and you then put the value in of the fillet. Okay? Get it? Alright, I'm just going to leave that for now. Okay. I filleted the screen using the same technique. It goes on. I then fill it the outer portion, these areas here with a larger fillet. Okay, get it. And as it develops, we're now two minutes into the video. You can see how I've then made another screen down here. Okay, what was next? Let's have a look. I've also looked underneath. I need to develop a, a section on here. Okay. Move out. Now, with the modelling, see this little groove here? See this groove here? If I look from the side, turn that round, from the modelling of the plasticine or the polymorph modelling, you can see how this feature here is going to fit into my hand. Get it? So it fits in my hand comfortably. I did actually measure my fingers, right? I used ergonomics worked at the spacing of my finger okay, and applied that to the um, 95th percentile. Okay? Cool. Right. And as it goes on, you can see I've radius to those edges. So I've put radiuses in here. Right. A lot of it's repeated processes. I've built a display screen on here. Move forward. I've added some buttons. I selected this face. Right. Okay, I selected that face, drew a series of circles, set them to a set diameter of say six millimeter, and then extruded them, right, a set distance. Okay. And then if you look there, I've radius those edges. Okay. Move on. Oh, that looks like I've done the let's have a quick look around. So if we look at the shape now, it's quite it's taken, you know. It's taking good shape. We've got a lovely curve. It's going to fit the hand. And this device is measuring the amount of energy, the amount of energy that's being recorded in a home. So we know how many devices are using. It monitors. Um, let's have a look at this now. It monitors the amount of usage. You can see, look on here, put three buttons on the top. All right. Extrude nine. I'll have a look underneath in a minute. There are, there's a couple of buttons, you just create them, mirror the shape, put a line down the middle, mirror, mirror, and you get a repeat. Okay. 
some more extruding another sketch I think the bottom of it I put a, a download socket into here look can you see so you just extrude build a shape extrude that or the outer shape cut it out okay there we go and now we can see now what I've done here I've gone into the modeling phase and I put like a, a lo lovely leather pattern on here I've used a fabric because this is going to be used in the household a chrome face can you see I've color coded my buttons right using the um, rendering tool you'll see that in a minute and that's the rendering tool okay on five minutes 46 right and when I click on rendering tool if it disappears off the screen just click on fit and you can actually see what you just produced so I've got the download socket in the bottom okay right there's the fabric because it glows, goes in with my clothing right it's got lovely leather on here okay and you can actually download materials and apply it to the surface it's really clever okay one of my students the other day wanted to make a speaker so they got the the hash sort of fill effect of a speaker and applied that pattern to their shape okay you just download it as a jpeg sorry a png file and apply it okay anyway let's go back into more i'm still recording this okay so there we go lovely job move across to the next one now here you can see i've incorporated a, an image right can you see that it's just like a laser screen i believe and that changed it to a road map okay because with this it all gives it also gives me location of where i am okay so if you look at that now from a modeling point of view doesn't that it looks quite professional doesn't it would you agree so it'll give me um actually that's a map of the digital marketing marketing map it's very interesting indeed right we can learn by looking at other people's videos right but from a learning point of view your point point of view it's good to have a st christopher school uh, video that you use in the lesson and that all started off right let's go right back to the beginning from your car card modeling okay which is set out in the scheme of work which i really like right and imagine that now it doesn't look much right so that little model that you make with me right in the lesson develops into let's go to the very end into that just by extruding cutting out extruding cutting out adding color and you got yourself a fantastic um, product okay hope you've enjoyed the uh, lesson okay for those the two of you who missed a couple of weeks ago you can now see what's available and I will post this video onto our learning platform, our Google Classroom, right? And uh, I hope that answers your questions. Thank you very much.